All right, we're back. So everybody should have all their pieces um, cut up into little squares. Now, um, you're going to take these squares and you're going to arrange them in a 1, 2, 3, 4 by 1, 2, 3, 4 square. Okay? And as you're doing this, I, I really would like for you to, to think about where you're putting things and how you're putting it. Not just randomly lay things out. But I mean, at first, you might have to just randomly lay things out so you can see um, where everything is. All right, so um, I'm gonna start, I believe, by putting all my yellows in the corners. And then um, all my reds and purples on the outside of the my outside part of my square. All right. And then I'm going to put all my greens in the middle and see what that looks like. I think I'll do it like this. As you can see, as I start putting things together, things you can start seeing things happen in the with with the way the colors are laid out. Um, I have right in the middle. I have two green stripes, and then I have a rectangle of light green. Okay. Um, if I squint at it and I look and I look, I see this uh, cross shape of light. Kind of looks like I I took chalk and went over the ch over it with chalk, but we know that's not what I did. Okay, so I'm gonna you you really want to play with it and see. Okay, how how do I like that? What if I take this one and switch it here and I um, take this one and switch it there. And how do I like the way that looks? And, um, maybe I want to do, um, all red in the middle. Maybe I want to, and I'm going to put my line down, my solid line down the middle like that. Okay. So I've got a solid line right there and then the color spreads out and then maybe I want oh maybe I want my purples because red and blue make purple so red can go from red to purple maybe I want that there okay and maybe I'll put my yellows here with a solid line at the top Okay. And then you hear my dogs in the background. Yeah, they're playing, fighting with each other and playing. And okay. All right. So maybe that's the way I like it. Whatever, however you want it to look, that's fine with me. You decide what the pattern, what the style, what the um what the design is going to look like. When you've done that, take the second piece of um, eight by eight paper that you got, and then let's glue it back together. Okay, so I'm gonna push this over here, and I'm gonna start gluing my shapes back in their space. Remember that, I'm gonna go back to the yellow. Remember the um, uh, doesn't take a lot of glue, so let's not get carried away with gluing, with putting a lot of glue down. This is probably a good one for um, stick glue if you have that over the yellow, over the Elmer's glue or liquid glue. 
that down. Okay. Then when you get everything put together the way you want it to look. Okay. Um, I'm going to go green here. everything put together the way you want it to look then go to your um, nine by nine colored piece of colored paper all right and then you're going to glue the whole thing center it on and glue the whole thing right there when you are done when you are all done Make sure you take a picture of the finished product. So make sure you take a picture of the finished product and um, send it to me either in classroom or um, to my email. Okay, so that I can see it. And I can give you a grade, post a grade for you. If you don't send me a picture, um, I then I can't send you a grade. Okay, so just telling me that these projects are turned in without sending me a picture somewhere does not mean you have turned it in. Okay, so please, please think about that. I had lots and lots of people last semester that didn't turn in any work for me and unfortunately it all went in the grade book as incomplete um, and if that doesn't change um, then it'll end up being a zero or a failure okay so please 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 send me a picture because I don't think anybody should fail in art all right so so far, that's what I got going. Right down the middle. Okay. All right. Although they're not glued down perfectly they match up pretty good all right and then the next thing i have to do oops <laughs> i keep playing with it next thing i have to do is glue it down to the orange piece of paper and i am done and that is my version of judy chicago's big blue pink Mine is big purple red or big green yellow or whatever color, whatever title you want to give it. All right. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a good week.